Hey everybody. Hey, if you grew up watching New Yankee Workshop when you were younger, you probably recognize this uh, blanket chest as one that Norm Abram built on the show. So I built several of these now and I just finished this one for a wedding gift for tonight. So I was um, under, under a time crunch to get this built. So I didn't film the actual building of this one, but I will link to uh, Norm's video uh, New Yankee Workshop video down in the, in the description below if you want to see that and I've uh, I also used his book here um, for the dimensions and the plans so if I could find this on Amazon or something I'll link to that also uh, but what I wanted to talk to you about was just a few modifications I've made to this um, that might help out if you build one and then a few variations, I'll show you another one that I have in progress that's a little bit different than this. So this one here, I built out a select pine that I got from Menards. It comes um, already finished on all four sides. And it's relatively inexpensive um, compared to like buying oak or another hardwood. Um, but it, it, it works easily with your tools. Um, and really for this project, you don't need anything more than a table saw, a chop saw, and uh, probably either a router table or a dado bit for your table saw. So this one that I made out of select pine, I stained it with early American Minwax stain and I put uh, three coats of a water-based uh, varathane polyurethane on top of it. So I think it turned out really good. Um, Sometimes with pine, you have to be really careful with the dark stain because it could get a little splotchy. Um, just the way that that grain soaks up the wood, so, uh, soaks up the stain so fast. But on this one, I just wanted to show you a few modifications that I've done. Um, so what I, one of the things I did was I added these little uh, nail-on felt feet to the bottom. And that's to help so you don't scratch a hardwood floor. And then on the inside, Norm's design, just you'd flop it all the way open and the length of the top would help rest it straight up and down. So on, on this one though, on this one though, what I've done is added these hinge supports here. So that's a, that's a right and a left. Um, you buy them separately, but you need a right and a left to um, hold up this heavy of a, of a top and then it just holds it up by itself and it keeps from if you open it too far this hinge this piano hinge here might start pulling some of the screws out and getting loose so I think adding those hinge supports really helps and then the inside of this has a cedar closet liner on the bottom to make it a cedar chest So that's the one I just finished. Now let me show you the one I have in progress because it's instead of having the flat panels like this, I've made a raised panel. Um, and I'll, let me show you that. So here I have another one all cut out. And ready to assemble. So this one here is actually, this is truly going to be a family heirloom uh, for my family because this oak was milled from a tree we cut down from my wife's uh, grandfather's place. So I cut that tree down a long time ago and I had it milled up into lumber and I've actually had these parts here cut out and ready uh, for assembly for quite some time. So now this one is going to get um, put together here soon. But I just wanted to show you that instead of the flat panel I cut a raised panel on these and a fancier edge using a cope and stick rotor bits. So this one's going to be a little bit fancier, you know, with the raised panel and the more decorative edge here. But otherwise, the assembly is pretty much all the same. 
So this project I believe is, is good for a beginner to an intermediate because you, know, you just need the basic tools like a table saw. Um, I use my radial arm saw for the cross cuts, but you could use a chop saw too. Um, and then you just need either a router table to make your, your dado grooves or a dado blade for your table saw. And that's pretty much it. It's just a matter of um, you know going through and cutting all your pieces. And if you use, if you follow the the article in this book here, it walks you through it and gives you all the dimensions and the step-by-step -step instructions. So I'll leave a link to this if I can find it also. So thanks for watching. If you like um, woodworking projects, I'll leave a card up here at the end for. Uh, some of the other woodworking projects I've done and I'll keep adding to that playlist as I do more So thanks for watching and see you in the next one